Okay. Hello, learners. Okay, I'm Stan Julia. I would like to welcome you to an environmental lesson today. Uh, remember, environmental is our best subject. Why? Because uh, we learn the things that we come across each and every day, things that surround us. So this, I think, is the best subject and you should love it. So I hope you're going to have an interesting lesson and you're going to learn a lot. So kindly welcome and uh, let's continue learning. So what we're going to learn today, it's about caring for the plants. We say that in environmental, we learn the things that surround us. Yes, we have, we have different things uh, in the environment. We have the air, the water, the soil, the plants, and that means that uh, in our environment, we have the plants. For example, I have a wonderful plant with me here. I hope you can all see what I have for you. This is what I'm talking about. So you're able to see, you're able to see the plants that I have. Okay, learners, I'm sure you are able also to see the parts of that plant. Okay, wow, you can see the flower, the leaf. Okay, we have the branch, we have the roots, the stem, and the fruit. So that's what we're talking about. When I'm talking about a plant, this is what I'm talking about. So I'm not talking of something else that maybe you've never seen. And I'm very sure when you walk out of your house, you're able to see as many plants as possible. So these uh, our plants are in our environment and we need to take good care of them. That's why we say caring for the plants, caring for the plants. So, and it is also good we know and we ask ourselves, are these plants we are talking about, are they important to us? Are they of benefit to us? Wow, I can see you trying to think. Let me just give you like a minute also, so that you just think of the plants you see around there. Are they of any importance to you? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. I can see pupils with two or even three points. That's nice. So uh, my first point, my first point is that our plants provide us with the food. Plants provide us with food. Remember, we can't do without food. We can't do without food. So plants are of importance to us. And I have a picture here. I know you, uh, you've ever seen some. Uh -huh. I have some uh, pictures of uh, products we get from the plants. Wow. Well done, learners. Kindly, just study the picture that I have there. Check. Wow, I can see you're able, you're able, you're able to identify like three or four or all of them. So let's see, let's see. Wow, we have bananas. I know we love bananas. They are yellow in color. We also have the pears. We have the pineapples there. We have the oranges there, grapes. And uh, we also have strawberries. Okay, thank you, Lana. So these are some of the foods we get from the, from the plants. And not only these ones, we have a lot. We have the maize plant, we have the cassava plant. They provide us with the food. So I'm basically going to write here, uh-huh, caring, caring for the plants. Caring for the plants, and we've said that we are first going to discuss importances of plants. Importances of plants. Importances of plants. And we said number one, they give us food. Good. Uh-huh. We've said that they give us food. And uh, we've said that uh, we can't do without food. We take food in the morning, during the lunchtime, and also in the evening. So uh, that's what we were talking about. And I'm very happy. I'm very happy that you're able to identify that. Thank you, Lanas. Okay. And we also have another 
We also have another importance of plants that they provide us with a shade. They provide us with shade. They provide, they provide us with They provide us with shade. They provide us with shade. Sometimes the weather is too hot. Sometimes the weather becomes too hot for us and we just look for places where we can cool ourselves. And definitely, if you're outside, you just go sit under a tree. And not only us, we also have the animals. You'll find them when it is too hot. They just look for a shade to cool themselves. So plants are of importance to us. Okay, we also have another benefit. They give us firewood. Good. They provide us with firewood. And not only firewood, we also have the charcoal. I can see my environmental learners telling me, teacher, we have ever heard about this. When we were learning about the heat energy, we talked about the fuels, and we said that we get the fuels like the firewood and the charcoal from the trees. Remember, trees are plants. So we get the firewood from them and also the charcoal. And with that, we are able to do a lot of things in our home. We can cook. Yes, I can see. Instead of maybe using the electric cooker, I said we, know, we need to know how to save. So sometimes, instead of using the electric cooker, the gas cooker, you can opt and use the firewood and also the charcoal. So that's another wonderful importance of the plants. Also, it provides the shelter. Just think of those animals that live in some are plants or in some trees. Just think, I can see. Wow, yeah, we have the birds. Wow, you've ever seen even the monkeys living in those trees. So it provides shelter to some of the animals. So plants are very nice. So they provide, they provide shelter. They provide shelter to some, to some of the animals. We've talked about the monkeys. We also have the birds, uh, that they make their nests there and they, and they live in those nests that are there in the trees. So that's another wonderful point. Uh, something else, something else that we would like to discuss uh, upon another importance of plants. Just imagine of an area without of an area without plants. How would that place look like? Oh, not pleasing, but just imagine of that area that has wonderful flowers all around. You just feel like just sitting there, uh, just relaxing there and doing your things when you're just in that wonderful uh, place. So plants provide a beautiful surrounding. So plants provide a beautiful surrounding for us. So they provide they provide a beautiful a beautiful surrounding sorry. Good. They provide a beautiful surrounding whereby we just feel like living there. Wonderful. That's nice. That's nice. I can see you coming up and you have uh, other points that maybe I've not talked about, but I'm very sure you can see how plants are of great importance to us. Just think of what you were sitting, you were sitting on. Wow. I can see some of you are sitting on uh, some chairs. Uh -huh. Just think. Uh -huh. what, uh, what has been used to come up with that chair? Just think. Okay. Wow. For example, I have my table with me here. I'm just trying to look around and I can see some pieces of wood. Some pieces of wood. What does it tell me? That plants provide us with the timber. 
plants provide us with timber and with the timber we are able to make a lot of things we are able to make a lot of things furniture we have the chairs that you sit on we also have the tables uh -huh. some of the your doors at all uh -huh. i also have a blackboard rural with me here wow it's made of timber it's made of timber wow so plants are of great importance to us so they provide us with the timber they provide they provide us with the timber with the timber and we say that uh, most of the things that we are able maybe to see at home and they are made of timber yeah i have can see some boys who have made the kennels there uh, others they have the cow shed there they are made of those timbers a lot of things just after the lesson just go out of your house and just check all the things that are made of timber and then you're going to see that plants are of importance to us wonderful learners good thank you okay we can also say we can also say they make the soil fertile plants make the soil fertile what do i mean by this after the trees have shed the leaves uh -huh, they decay we don't just collect it and take it somewhere no sometimes they remain there so what happens they make the soil fertile they make the soil fertile. And what do we get when we have the fertile soil? Wow, we have a lot of yields. If you are a farmer and you had maybe planted, maybe maize, you're going to have a lot of yields. And what do we mean by that? When you sell them, you're going to get a lot of money. So what, what does that tell us? That plants are of importance to us. So they make the soil fertile. They make the soil fertile. That's a wonderful point. That's a wonderful point. Wow, something else. Wow. I told you environmental is the best subject. You can't do without it. Now, another point of our plants is that it prevents, it prevents soil erosion. It prevents soil erosion. What do I mean by this? Teacher, what is soil erosion? Okay, Lana, so I was saying that uh, the plants also uh, prevent soil erosion. And I was asking myself, what is this soil erosion we are talking about? I've said soil erosion is carrying of the top soil. Yeah, you have ever seen soil. We all know where we get the soil. So the plants, they have roots. So they, okay, they hold the roots. So when the wind comes, they will not be able to carry the, the soil. So that we were saying that plants uh, prevent soil erosion. So plants, they prevent Wow, good. They prevent soil erosion. Erosion. So another wonderful point about plants is that they are of, uh, they give us medicine. They give us medicine. Wow, I have this plant called aloe vera. Maybe you've ever heard about it. Okay, uh, that plant is of uh, medicinal value to us. Sometimes at home, uh, we dip it in water and we give it to chicken. Uh -huh. Sometimes when you have a cold, a flu, we just boil it and drink that water. So it helps us. It helps us. So it has that medicinal value. So we can also write it down. Okay, and last but not the least, we also get papers from the plants. We also get papers from, from the plant. For example, I have my uh, textbook here. It has a lot of papers 
a lot of pages we get them from the plant after them after them being taken to the factory we just get uh, the books i know you have story books at home you have magazines at home you have newspapers at home all these papers we get them from the from the uh, plant so we can write it down <laughs> Good. We get papers from the plants. What does this tell us? It tells us that we need to take care of our plants. We've seen all the benefits, all the benefits of the plants. So it is my responsibility, your responsibility to take care of the plants. So till then, have a nice uh, moment till we have another wonderful lesson come next time. So, Bye-bye, Lanas.